I shall not be shaken. Looking at the book of, um, of uh, Psalm 62, the, just to give you a background, if you want to understand that psalm, that psalm is written by David. And David, David is writing this psalm. If you want to understand it, you have to read 2 Samuel chapter 15, chapter 16, and chapter 17. What is happening here is David had his son Absalom. He loved him. He was actually his favorite son. And his son rises up against David. And he declares himself king. And he's still there. David is still king. He's still reigning. But the son declares himself what? King. And some of the trusted men and women who had worked with David, they immediately change allegiance to Absalom. And so Absalom is now running business. And then David discovers, mm -mm, I will not continue to stay here in Jerusalem with my son having declared himself king. So David runs away. He is shaken. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So when you read that, it will be able to give you all that I'm trying to say. So it is from that background, his son has overthrown him. He's taken over kingship. And David is nowhere now. That is where he writes Psalm 62. And I want to fix a few things there that we would look at. You know, when you've been at a higher position, when you have been holding things, and now those things have been taken away from you, you will not continue to celebrate. Mm -hmm. You will be shaken. Mm -hmm. So Psalm 62, verse number 1, David begins right and he says, Truly, my soul silently waits for God. From him comes my salvation. Mm -hmm. Yes, my son has taken away my seat. The people that I trusted, the people that I worked with, they have all gone. I'm now a lone ranger. But one thing I know, my soul silently waits for God. From him comes my salvation. I want to pick the first point there. When you are going through stuff, when everything is not meeting up well, number one, wait upon God. Wait upon God. When things are not working like you would have expected them to work, when troubles, storms are blowing right, left, and center, wait upon God. God does not come early. God does not come late. God comes at the time you did not expect. And he will be there. So David says, my soul silently waits upon God. Those tears you cry, the pains you go through, let us wait upon God. Let us wait upon God. So David brings the first point here. My soul silently waits upon God. From him comes my salvation. 